Hey everybody, so here's the scoop. Um, my son was looking at some music and saw Katy Perry, and he thinks she's really pretty. My son's 12. And um, he asked me to maybe do my makeup like that. So I'm going to give it a go. Um, mind you, this is just inspired by Katy Perry. I look nothing like Katy Perry. She is gorgeous. But um, we're going to give it a shot. And I have no editing software, so this is just fly by the seat of my pants, and you guys are going to get it all. I'm going to try and flip, condense it. So anyway, I've already, um, let me clip my hair back. I've already um, primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I like the Shadow um, Insurance by Too Faced. And I also like the, um, the Lancome, not Lancome, the L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Decrease which, you know, drugstore, totally inexpensive. So, got that on my lid. Now, I'm going to be using some of the colors from the shimmer palette. So, we're going to start with a fluff brush. And I'm going to start with this, which is like a peach. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. And up into the crease. Okay, then the color right next to it is a really pretty green. I'm just going to put that all over the lid. Now you have to be really careful when you're working with green. Look at that fall out. Um, you can like put your um, foundation on after you do this. You can put a whole bunch of loose powder under your eye to catch your fallout. It happens a lot more with darker colors, and it happens a lot with shimmery colors. I didn't know that already, but you probably did. Okay. Run that up into the crease. I had to put the peachy color on first. Um, I'm trying to whisper this all the way. Here's a makeup practice. can usually get it off. Um, what was I saying? Oh, because the, the green is really, really kind of teal, and I didn't want teal. I wanted more of like an emerald green. So that's why I put the peach on first. Then um, next I'm going to go from here's the peach color, and I'm going to go one, two, three, up. And it's like more of a yellow, yellowy color. I'm going to take that ginormous um, Coastal Scents brush, and that's going to go all the way up to my lid. So. Okay. Next, I'm going to do something which you probably think is a little odd, but I promise it works. I'm going to take a white cool pencil, and like normal, you know, in the corner, little star effect. And then um, I have to wipe it off a little on my fingertip because that green gets on it. We don't want green because we're going to put it up here in the highlight right under your eyebrow. The reason I put the white coal on first is I'm going to use this really delicate pretty yellow for my highlight and I need it to stick um, otherwise it just gets lost in the shuffle with all the frosted colors. I'm going to use this yellow right at the top. Wow that light is so bright. Back up. There you go. And that goes into my corner and it's going to go right up here in my brow and really just highlight that area. Okay, so that part is done. And next I'm going to use a color from Lancome in my crease because I just really, really like it. Um, this is the color focus line and it's montage and it's a really dark um, shimmery green and this is going to go into my corner god I got my hair back into my corner just like so and up into my crease you can go as gentle or as dramatic as you want with this look, which I really like. 
Um, and again, it's, you know, Katy Perry, how freaking adorable is she? She went really dramatic with hers, so whatever floats your boat. Um, try and keep your line even from the crease all the way up to the corner of your eyebrow. Whoop, like so. Um, you can use scotch tape. If you guys haven't seen that trick, maybe I'll sh show that on my next tutorial. That's a really old, like, modeling trick. Um, the scotch tape. Anyway. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is take my crease brush, and we're going to get a little bit of black shimmer, which is in the corner of the palette, because I'm going really dramatic. Again, you do not have to go this dramatic. I have black hair, so I tend to wear my makeup a little bit more dramatic. And it's just going to go right into the corner and up into the crease, keeping a really nice rounded edge. Okay, now we need to blend, blend, blend with our Dulux Coastal Scent Shadow Brush, which is just so big. Okay, this is really quick and easy. Look, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to use my Coastal Sense Gel Liner. Okay, when I get to the corner, I'm going to go up. It's really dramatic, almost cat eye corner that she has, so we're going to do that. Told you guys to get a crazy hour. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> I've already been up doing stuff. Once I go under, I'm just going to go sweep right through my waterline. You can leave this step out if you don't like putting in your waterline. I'm a crazy person. So I do. Okay. I'm going to put on a little bit of Colossal Volume Express Mascara. If you guys didn't notice, I already had my false lashes on this eye. Normally, you wouldn't do it that way. You put the false lashes on after. But this morning, I don't know what I was doing. And stuck it on and just didn't feel like taking it off and starting over. So I need a little liquid liner to cover my glue line. No big deal. If you're not used to using false eyelashes so though, I highly recommend putting one after. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's it. That's my I'm gonna be like Katy Perry someday. Makeup look. The rest of my face I have on just a plum lip liner from NYC, and then um, I have, she has really plump, shiny pink lips, so we did Estee Lauder, the signature lipstick in pink champagne, and then I did the Estee Lauder high gloss ultra brilliance gloss right over the top. Um, on my cheeks, I also used Estee Lauder, I used the all over face compact, and I used the bronzer for my contour, and then I used this pink right here. And that's it. That is my Katy Perry look. And bye-bye. I hope you all have a great day.